Hello everybody, Caution Crazy here. Um, so this is the third time I'm recording this. The first time it was, um, it was just not recording. Well, it was, but it wasn't recording audio. It still isn't recording audio because I guess you can't record desktop. Today is a tutorial on how to do SKSE with a controller. How to do SKSE? How to use SKSE with a controller. Um, it's actually super simple. You just open up Vortex and you're going to add the SKSE loader into your Vortex dashboard. Uh, super simple to do, you just hit add tool, which I don't do until like halfway through the video, because uh, I go and explain pretty much everything that has to do with SKSE, but I'm not going to do that now. Um, we are going to go over it, because I already recorded it, that, that, that's the recording that's there. So, uh, basically, I'm going to leave a link in the description for SKSE, so that way you can download it, uh, all you need to do is download whichever one is for your your version of Skyrim, so it'll it'll tell you on the website which one it is, and then once you download it, you'll get a file that looks like this. Once I open it, there it goes, and then you'll open that folder. You'll click that button because nobody ever buys WinRAR, and then you'll drag and drop those files into your root folder of Skyrim. Super simple to do. I don't know why it takes me so long to explain all this, but yeah. So you're going to drag and drop to your root folder of Skyrim, because I did not have this set up, so I'm going to go there. I already made a shortcut for it, though, so at least I kind of saved some time because I made a shortcut to it, but that was for me, not for not for any video sake. But yeah, you'll drag and drop those files into your root folder. Um, if it asks you to replace, hit yes to all. Just make sure you do that, because you, you want to hit yes to all. And then... Uh, you'll have SKSE loader in your root folder which will not give you any errors. Then you're going to add tool and you can search for it. It might bring you to the folder that you know you just dropped it in. If not, go to it, look for SKSE, hit open like I didn't do the first time, and then hit save. It'll, it'll fill in all the info for you so you don't have to worry about anything. Just hit save and then obviously I already did it so I have two. I delete one of them. I launch it to show you that it works with the controller. You can't hear the sounds, but it's working with the controller. I, I move the, the thumbstick up and down and press the buttons and the, the triggers. Um, and it works. Uh, a lot of people say to add SKSE to Steam, which I'm going to show you does not work and for some reason just refuses to work. My, my theory is that SKSE is launching from, uh, the, from Vortex and it's launching Steam, or it's launching Skyrim from Steam, so it's still getting that Steam controller configuration. Or, the other thing is, SK, it's loading SKSE and not recognizing Steam as the game that's being launched from, I keep saying Steam, it's Skyrim being the game that's launched from Steam. So, it, it'll technically, yes, it's using your controller configuration, but it's using it for SKSE. As soon as Skyrim loads, it's a completely different program and it's like hey wait a second but it also does recognize you have a controller plugged in because once I get through the video you'll, you'll see um, I'll go down to quit and it'll say A or B but if you press A or B on the controller it just doesn't work I have to use my keyboard to get down to quit and then I hit enter and then it shows the buttons it shows it but if I, I pick up the controller and I press the buttons and neither of them work so I just hit enter but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So don't launch it from Steam, launch it from Vortex, and make sure you do have Steam open so that way it can load the controller configuration. I don't know if that... I mean, I haven't actually tested to see if you can close Steam and launch SKSE from Vortex and have the controller work. But, I mean, I'll be sure to do that and I'll let you know down either in the description or as a pinned comment. I don't really know. But, yeah, so that was pretty much it. Hope the tutorial helped. Uh, this is the third and last time I'm doing it. I'm sorry if there's any kind of, like, breaths on the mic or pops of the T's and the S's, but that's that's just, it is what it is. That's what it's got to be. So, I appreciate you sticking through to the end, and hope, you know, hope you learned something. Hope this was very helpful, because I know I was having issues, and I just wanted to use a controller, and it worked. So, cool. Thanks. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it. And don't forget to download Vortex because Vortex is good. Thank you and have a great day.